welcome to Beyond the Classroom with the Vigo County Public Library. I'm Nicole, and today we're going to be painting these lovely fluffy birds. We're going to be learning about things like grayscale, contrast, highlighting, and mainly we're going to have fun. If you received a kit from the library, your kit should include a plate, which we're going to use as our paint palette, two paint brushes, various colors of paint, a cup so you can put water in to rinse your brushes, a few napkins, and of course our canvas. All right, let's get started. I'm going to use the bigger brush and we're going to paint this background. You'll want to use your gray paint and your white paint and what I'm going to do is put my brush just in a little bit of gray and a little bit of white. And then we're just going to come to our canvas and just start brushing it on. And it's okay that it's a little streaky and it's not exactly even. We're going to cover the whole canvas I like mine a little, I don't like uniform strokes, I like to kind of go over it. You can use as much gray or as little gray as you like. And you want to use the white and the white will help your paint spread and cover your canvas because we want to get the canvas completely covered and we don't want to forget about the sides. So just brush it on, get it all over here, a little more gray over here. And you can do uniform brush strokes or you can kind of go all over the place. I like to go a little all over the place. I think it makes my canvas a little more interesting to be able to see the different brush strokes. Let's take another look at our canvas. Just make sure you're happy with what it looks like. I'm happy with that. So we're going to take a break, let the paint dry. And once it dries, we're going to come back and we're going to start on our birds. I have several different colors here, so just pick a color and then let's start on one of these cute little birds. And I'm just going to figure out how tall I want my bird to be. So I think this one, I'm going to start him right here. I'm just going to make a circle, but it doesn't have to have smooth edges because our birds are going to be fluffy. So just use your brush and kind of curve around just like that. And you can make your bird as wide or as small as you want. You don't have to do three birds. You could just do one really big bird or three or four little birds. It's entirely up to you. So I kind of like these rounded edges. Makes them look like a big old cotton ball. There we go. Okay. All right. Pretty happy with that. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to take it, stick it in the water, and kind of rub it around on the bottom so I can get all the paint out. Swish it around in there. Okay, once you're done, take one of the paper towels you've got, tap the water off, and then we're going to make sure that we get all the water out of our brush because we don't want to get any paint or any water in our paint because that'll make our paint runny, and we don't want to do that. Okay, right, so I'm going to move on to my next color. And this one, I think I'm going to do this dark green color, but I'm going to take a little bit of that light green too, just to make it, give it some contrast. So, and again, I'm just going to figure out where we want him to stand, and then just start painting the shape. While your paint's just a tiny bit wet, if you want to go back and add some of the different colors that you received in your kit, you can take, take a little bit of this turquoise and just kind of sprinkle it in a little bit here and there.
okay, if you're happy with the way your birds look, we're going to add their legs. So adding their legs is very simple. We just want to get a little bit of black on our brush. And then we want to come up here, figure out where we want to put their leg. And then it's just a simple straight line down, just like that. And then once you're happy with the way your legs look, we're going to go back to our black paint, just get a little bit of black paint. And you can also use a little more of your gray paint. And we're just going to come down here and just pull some lines, be like little pieces of grass. And it'll give a nice contrast on our gray background there. brush and just dip it in the orange get a little bit of orange and then we're going to just make a line and sketch out a triangle with the orange dry and then I'm going to come back to it and give it another coat here in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's paint the eyes. So take a little bit of black paint and then we're just going to paint some circles. my eyes in there. Now I have just a tiny bit of black paint on my brush. I'm going to take a little bit of white, just a tiny bit, and then right under my birds I'm just going to add just a little bit of a, just a little swooshing here, a little bit of shading. going to take just a tiny bit of my white, just come back and add some highlights on my birds, just wherever you want. And now would be a good time when your grass is dry down here, if you want to add some highlights into your grass with just some pure white. I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to go back to those beaks and just add a tiny bit more color. I want them to be a little more vibrant. Okay. I'm going to 
going to rinse my brush and then I'm going to give their faces just a few minutes to dry and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes and the beaks. So I'm just taking the end of my small brush and just dipping it just very lightly into my white paint and I'm just going to touch it to my eye just like boop, there you go. And it does always help to make that sound I found. It's, it's very therapeutic. Okay, just right over here to this little fella. Boop, boop. See, every time you do an eye, that's the sound you want to make. Boop, boop. There we go. And then a fun thing to do, if you'd like, is you can give them little eyelashes, which I think I'm going to give this one right here. I'm just going to take that, put it in just a little bit of black, and just kind of feather right here at the sides. There we go. Makes her a little interesting. And then if you want to add just any more orange paint to your nose, now would be a good time to do that. going to go back into my black paint a little bit and we're just going to add a few black lines here and there just to make things stand out a little bit. All right, if you're happy with the way your masterpiece looks, it's time to sign it because you want everyone to know that you're the artist. So you can take a Sharpie and you can write your name, or if you like, just go back into your paint with your small brush and just put your initials in there somewhere. So I'm just gonna put my initials right over here. All right, I'm all done. I hope you had a good time because I sure did and I can't wait to see you again. If you want to learn more about art and artists, check out these books from our Youth Services Department. 23 Ways to Be a Great Artist, a step-by-step -step guide to creating artwork inspired by famous masterpieces by Jennifer McCulley. Kid Artist, True Tales of Childhood from Creative Legends, stories by David Stabler. Splat. The most exciting artists of all time, Mary Richards.